Greetings and peace be unto you. I am back with this second video. Let me get this. I'm going to get right into it. So I'm jumping right into it. Okay. Romans 12. Please read the whole chapter for yourself. But Romans chapter 12, 1 through 2. We are living sacrifices unto God. Get that. You present your body. Christ presented up his body. We want to be his temple. Y'all are looking outside of yourself. We are the, because of Jesus Christ, we are the temple where God dwells. Get that, y'all. If you have filth and sin in you, he ain't going to dwell in you. So if you are without spirit, surrender, repent, turn away from the filth of this world. Okay. Revel, um, Romans chapter 12, 3 through 8. Serve God with spiritual gifts. Whatever your gift is, you serve God with. Get that. It can be a, whatever gift he gave you. We can't confuse anointing of Christ Jesus with gifts. Get that. Romans 12, 9 through 21 is behave like a Christian. I gave this scripture quite a bit, y'all. I did. Matthew chapter 7 and 12. Therefore, whatever you want men to do to you, do so to them. But this is the law and the prophets. You know, my my soldier will always speak words without scripture. And I know this is where they taught us to treat people how we want to be treated, no matter what they look like on the outside. Jesus answered questions often. You'll often see him answering questions to the Pharisees, Sadducees, scribes, and crew. Some of you are quoting these scriptures to the righteous. That's a no-no. That is a no-no. That's for y'all. That's for the self-righteous. That's for those that want to argue and dispute the word. You got to know a spirit. You spiritually discern this word for yourself, for yourself through Christ Jesus. They always want to come debating and trying to trap him. People want to come and trap you with words or debate over the word. But the words say, don't even get into foolish Bibles and mess with people. And so let me move on. Okay. This is false and wrong. They were wicked and plotted to murder Jesus. And trying to force their doctrine when Jesus was the truth. That's what you need to understand. As well as um, forcing doctrine of man, religion, and tradition. That's what they tried to do. That's why he lets us know that we have got to walk in truth. Nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help you God. And that's it. And so Jesus stood up for the doctrine of God. He didn't deviate from that thing. He did it. He did his father's will perfectly. And he meant that thing. And he did it even until death. Until life. Eternal. Okay. There were more against him than with him. He didn't get scared at all. Jesus was soldier. If he had to roll by himself, that's what he was going to do. And he only chose 12. Although there were many others that followed, he chose those 12. Because he knew that the Father was with him. And that's when you see, when you know God is with you, when you truly know he is with you, then you don't sit here and think about all this craziness that's going on to evoke fear on others. I may talk about it because you need to know if it came to pass or not. If it did, then you need to know. If it didn't, you definitely need to know. Definitely. If you are following behind somebody and they had a false prophetic word, you better get at the feet of Jesus. That's all I got to say about that. Moving on. Correct. <clears throat> Correct is what he said. Prophetic. Truth, healing, he's doing it, y'all. He does it so many ways. Like, even for me, like, if I, okay, he wants me to say this. If I if I have a throat, if my throat is bothering me, or if I feel like I'm trying to get uh, an infection or something, he'll bring up the infection, and then you're healed. That's done. Nothing. You, you're good to go. 
And so for me, I trust in him. If it's my time, it's my time. I don't trust in doctors. I don't trust in anything else but him. That's all I say. That's not for everybody. That's just according to the measure of my faith. That's all I'm saying. And so he also allowed doctors to do what they do. You just want to go to the right doctor. Because every doc there is wickedness in every entity. I don't care what it is. You just got to trust the Papa and let him guide you. That you're a spirit led. So that's what he has done for me. Okay. And so God's spirit poured out higher. He's helping us to overcome sudden change. And sometimes you'll hear me just read one word and it's chopped up. I don't like to add words, y'all. <laughs> I don't. I don't like to add words. If he give me one word, that's what it's going to be. I, just, I don't like to put extra words with it. So as I'm speaking, I, I'll hear him say something else and then I'm adding those words and that's it. But if it come out chopped up, that's just what it is. I'm not adding nothing to it. And so healing of the nations, which I love. Revelations 21 and 22. That was like my favorite. I love all scripture. However, to know that that's the end, that we are in 19, 21, 22, that we can celebrate, that we are in the end. Or matter of fact, 19 on, oh, that we can celebrate. We are in the end. Our king is here. And so moving on. Great move of God. Your children's time has come. Faithful, faithful. Hid in the open. We've been hid in the open. We all look alike. However, some walk in truth. The living word in them. Okay? Gathering. Quick work. First fruit. That's the first fruit. Of God and, and of the Lamb and God Almighty. The first fruit. Jesus Christ is the first fruit of God. He died and he rose. You know, we can't just talk about these things. We got to live out the word. Live it out. That's how you get to righteousness. Gathering. Bride of Christ. You know, it's okay to have your little symbols and stuff because, you know, that's how we give it to us as a symbol of a bride or you're dressed up in a uh, bride attire. However, he's speaking on the church. The true church. The faithful church. He don't want no unfaithful bride. Come on, man. And so, moving on. Lee. Assembling believers. Spirit outpour. He gave it again. Uh, Jesus returned. Victory. And so that is how he confirms for me. To make sure. This lets me know that he gave it to me. And he confirms it. I don't look to man to confirm nothing from me. That's how he trained me. Because if you keep following behind me. You're going to always be wrong. I'm going to keep saying that. Let me move on. <sighs> Door closed to evil. Love, joy, freedom. Pure church. Victory of the people. Law and responsibility, testimony, trying in the fire, cover, reveal, provide. He is our provision. You know, when people threaten to take away your provision, who is your provision? God is my provision. That's all I know at this point. That's all I know. He has been providing. My husband, God first, my husband. Okay. John 7, 37 and 38. Promise of the Holy Spirit. 1 Timothy 5.23 um, A little wine for the stomach. I talk, speak about this in previous videos. Uh, laying of hands. I had to learn the hard way with this one. The fairest dogs asking for prayer. You running and laying hands and didn't ask the papa if you can go lay hands. That's uh, 1 Timothy 5.22 This was a hard lesson for me. That's why I asked him how to pray. Because you have wickedness asking you to pray. That's a wasted prayer. Get you have nefarious dogs asking the righteous for prayer. That is a wasted prayer. I want to pray that prayer for my brothers and sisters in Christ. And that's it. And for my future brothers and sisters in Christ. And that's it. And pray how the Papa instructs me to pray. If you say don't pray, I'm not praying. If you say pray, that's what I'm going to do. I want him to answer me. I want him to answer my prayer. I don't want to pray according to somebody else. And then you're disappointed because your prayer not answered. Vision. He had me to write this down. He had me to say this, but then he had me to write it down again. This is I'm on 926. Vision. Mountain, floor, and water. High place of God, Holy Spirit. Because I don't, I didn't tell you what he gave me after that when he gave me the vision. But that's what he, that, that was my answer. But he often gave me the mountain or bare feet or whatever, you know. So,
Okay. The only way, y'all, is to believe. That's it. Believe. That's it. No other way. With all your heart and all your mind. Judgment on apostate. Divine wisdom. Warrior. Warlike. That's what he has made me. And so, spirit of the Lord rest upon me. Special place of honor. Release. Working for God. Lord Jesus, help us right now. All right. This is a dream. Celebration. Revelation chapter 19. This was a part of my dream. It was symbolic of Revelation chapter 19. Uh, we had a wedding attire, bride of Christ. And in the dream, it, the prophetic word he gave me was too close. Matthew 25, chapter 25. Uh, let's see. Jesus is coming to get his bride, his faithful church. Vision, calamity. He had me to write this again on 926. It was fire and destruction, just chaos upon chaos. Just as far as I can see. This is a dream. In this dream, I was rushing to prepare for the, I perceived in spirit that a flood was coming and I was rushing to prepare in spirit. And it was some kind of little, something I've never seen, but it was made of glass and metal or something. And it was filling up with water, but we were safe. And <clears throat> Let me see. There's another part to that. Protection. Holy Spirit. Get that. You got to have the Holy Spirit. That's your protection, y'all. Get that. And so he kept having me write mighty defender of mankind over and over again. And so just now when I would kept, he's like, you have to say it. Dude. And so that's why I said it. Because I said it in previous videos, but I don't say it often. All right. Persistent. You must be persistent. To get to your freedom, you must be persistent. Redemption, he redeems us, y'all. He does. He does. Rise up. My mantle that he gave me from him, warrior, that's the mantle that he has given me. I speak about in previous videos that the papa literally reached down and touched me and zapped me on my head. Electricity. My husband, he heard it. He woke up and looked at me. It zapped me on my head. And the electricity just... <sighs> Let me move on. That is what he has given me. If y'all are still confused of why I'm this way. Right after that, 144,000 righteous, powerful in Christ Jesus to fight wickedness. You know, I had somebody come for me. Why do you Christians uh, say Jesus Christ? I said, I don't know why other people do it. The reason I do it, because Christ means the anointing that's within me. And I'm going to continue to do so. I don't want anybody to be confused about the Jesus I'm speaking of in this time. And so, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. We are fighting wickedness. We are. We are battling in the spirit like nobody's business. And so, persistence until the Lord bless. He often gave me Jacob. How he wrestled. And the word is said wrestled a man. And he wrestled until he got what it was. And so he often gave me that. Call of God. That's my call. To bring down wickedness. To bring down evil is what I wrote. The creation cries out to the sons and daughters of God to manifest. Rise up. 11th hour. One hour. One day. Jesus returned to part. overcome all things. Fullness of people. Of promise. He also, this was amazing. This is amazing. He wants me to say this. When I logged on, I don't know how this happens. Different pictures kind of pop up. I guess it, it picks at random. There was a huge full moon on my screen, y'all. So I'm looking down. Um, September, I wrote full moon. It's called the harvest moon. So that's what prompted me. He just wanted me to say that. <clears throat> There is always a harvest. He wants me to say this as well. Because Jesus looked around. He said, there is always a harvest. It is. But the harvest in this end is a different kind of harvest. It is as well. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. He gave Luke 20, uh -uh, Luke 12, 45 through 46. Discerning the time. Please look that up for yourself. After that, he had me to write harvest in Revelations 14. 
He is the God over all and controls all. He also instigates evil. I did a video on that, instigating evil. The wicked overthrown. He also, let's see, last attack was directed at me. And boy, was this something. It was a doozy, y'all. I'm telling you, it was. He'll let me tell you about it in his time. Okay? Hard mind freedom. Freedom. Heavenly. Oh, he, had, he, he already had me say that. Okay, so. End. Last in time. The last attack directed at me. Destroy. Deceit. Destroy. Restore all things. Because they kept coming in different seasons. And so, done. Finito. That's it. It's a wrap. Whatever you want to call it, it's done. All right. Restore all things. And I may have said that, but I'm saying it again. Restore all things. For me, I've been fighting for others most of my life. I have. Because y'all, I'd be like, ooh, I would get so angry. If you mess with somebody that I love, I would get like 98 hot dog. And I could just feel myself getting hot. My face flushed and just ready to battle. And so unity family adopted into God's family he had me say this a couple days ago but I'm going to say it again we have to remember that we want to be adopted into God's family that's what's important false attack on God's flock the deception you know they're trying to deceive you like things are the worst of the worst and God doesn't hear you stuff like that those are all lies he's fighting on our behalf it's in the spiritual realm manifesting to the natural tell him to wait for it just wait for it and you'll see okay moving on he had me to write god knows my name he also had me to write feed my sheep truth admittance okay we already have the victory this was after um the false attack on god's flock we already have the victory the more you focus on the wicked the worse it gets when you focus on Jesus, you get that peace. All right. Expectancy of Jesus any day. This is what he had me write on 926 again. King celebration. He had me to write that uh, two different times. One year I saw it and it said King celebration. And then the final year on the anniversary, I saw it again. And um, someone was with him. My sissy was with me. And I said, you know, I just saw that a year ago. Um, King celebration. And so, of course, you know, my mind going to Revelation 19. I, I can't stop thinking about, you know, the goodness of all that he has for us. Uh, tw Revelation 21 and 22. You know, that that's what encouraged me that we know that all the goodness there is greater than anything we can ever imagine. Okay. And so he also had me to write. I wrote this a while ago. I wrote all government is something man created, inspired by Satan. That is what he had me write a while ago. He wants me to read it again. He also had me to write, rise up, people of God, rise up. Righteous people can discern good and evil. You're mature in Christ when you do that. We're gathering, teaching about Jesus Christ truth true freedom okay he had me to write mountain transfiguration moses and jesus i already told y'all about that okay let me move on salvation salvation is constant transition changing from one state to another your new new creation you don't do what you used to do no more so if you still doing that, you are not saved and you need to get at the feet of Jesus and truly repent and turn away from those sins. Service to the doctrine of God, true. Plan, produce, absolutely necessary. Warlike, never done before. The call of God. Listen, y'all. If I do what others say, I will be in disobedience with the Papa. So you got to do what it is the Papa is telling you to do what telling you to do because 
people are speaking against the truth so heavily in this time. And so that's why I put my plugs in, ignore them, and do what it is the Papa told me to do. And I continue to soar in the spirit. That's how I know that I'm doing what he has called me to do because I continue to soar in the spirit. Okay. And so he had me to write instigate evil again. Uh, let's see. To fulfill the plans of the end time beast, God's divine plan. The divine order of God's judgments. Revelations 18, one hour, one day. Day of the Lord, emergency help. He gave it again. All right, this is a dream. Fighting evil. Let's see. Okay, so I told y'all in part about this dream. I tell the full dream in another video. However, he wants me to say it again. In this dream, I was fighting. It began on different levels, on different roles. And it just, it was like an open building is what it was made like. So we were like going in all the way up to the door, y'all. When I got to the door, I called 911. That was the part I left out. And emergency help, Jesus, angels, saints. That's what he had me to write. All right. Joshua 23, rest from all enemies. I love when he said, give me this scripture, y'all. Back in the day, he's just letting me know each season, each battle. Okay, you overcame that battle. You overcame this battle. Because it doesn't mean that the battle stopped, but he's always with us. Remember that, that he'll never leave us or forsake us. Okay. I asked him this a while ago. I asked, how long ago, God? He told me, quick, in the blink of an eye. And so after that, he had me write, end of the world, short space. Okay. He had me to write this on 926. I'm still on 926. 9 26 2015 that a un, it was a, a messenger and it was like a, a a man an unknown man he was writing in a book that's what he had me to write on the line on 9 26 14 2014 when you have an, a, a personal experience with the lord like saul to paul did um jesus stepped to him on the on the on the way to on the road to Damascus and also he had me to write that day I heard in the spirit like literally heard in the spirit that the spirit of the Lord rests upon me these are the things that he say to you to encourage you in him you don't have to look the man for nothing I'm telling you I'm telling you he does everything for me it's according to the measure of your faith okay God is spirit Jesus is flesh. He was flesh and spirit. He is flesh. He has his, his heavenly body, his perfected body. He is the king of kings and lord of lords. You know, I, I love when he told to old Dalton Thomas, look at my hands. Stick your hands in them since you don't believe. He sat down and ate with them. He had his heavenly body on earth. On earth. And so God is spirit. Remember that. Because people were disputing a couple days ago, maybe yesterday, disputing. God is not Jesus and this and that. That's the name of their little handle or whatever they call it. That's the name, their name. And it is amazing to me that people will dispute you up and down. The whole point, we are as one. They are as one in us. We are, when we become righteous in the way we need to be, we are as one with them and we are as one with each other. Get that. In spirit, y'all. Until that day. Where it manifests to the natural. Okay. Whew. Okay. This was a dream. <clears throat> Excuse me. The true prophet in this dream was at the window. And we saw heaven. I was in the middle of the true prophet. I was standing by the, actually, I was standing by the true, true prophet. And we were talking. Then a false prophet came. However, the true prophet was by the window looking um, to heaven and the false prophet was standing by fire y'all in this dream okay and it's amazing when you jump out there before the, the papa that makes you false it doesn't mean that he's not going to use you he's teaching you that you got to trust him and he'll transition you to being the true prophet that he called you to be because you're going to come to a point where you're going to sit your butt down. And you're going to sit at the feet of Jesus and listen to what he say. And speak when he say speak. And silent when he say be silent. Get that. 
Okay. Wisdom. Bride of the Lamb. Praise the Lord is what I wrote. Gatekeepers. And then he had me write 4,000 4, again. And that's when I wrote Jesus feeding the 4,000. Mark 8, 1 through 8. Mark, uh, let's see. I may have flipped them backwards, but check out Mark 8, 1 through 8 and Mark 15, 29 through 39 because there was another message in this part. Okay. Also, um, he had me to write man of sin, lawless one. Second Thessalonians 2, 8 through 12. He wants me to go there. Okay. This is speaking on let me see. The lawless, the great apost apostasy, apostasy, excuse me, y'all. The great apostasy is what it's speaking on. Okay. He wants me to read the, um, until he tells me to stop. Now, brethren, concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our gathering together to him, we ask you not to be soon shaken in mind, get that, or troubled either by spirit or by word or by letter, as if from us, as though the day of Christ had come. Let no one deceive you by any means, for that day will not come unless the falling away comes first. We in that. And the, the man of sin is revealed. If y'all don't know who it is by now, Jesus help. The son of perdition, who opposes, opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God or that is worship so that he sits as God in the temple of God get that y'all get that he wants me to say we are his temple y'all get that you got to stop thinking in terms of man like a building made by hands you got to think spiritual Jesus is spirit God is spirit in us the Holy Spirit is in us you got to think spiritual because if you don't, you're going to always be wrong. You're going to always be false. Okay. Showing himself that he is God. Do you not remember that when I was still with you, I told you these things? Question. And now you know what is restraining. The Holy Spirit restrains us. That's it. That he may be revealed in his own time for the mystery of the lawlessness. Is already at work even then. Only he who now restrains will do so until he is taken away, uh -uh. until he is taken out of the way. And we already know who's gonna do that. Nobody but Jesus. And then the lawless one will be revealed, and the Lord will consume with the breath of his mouth. Get that. And destroy with the brightness of his coming. Get that. The coming of the, some of y'all are waiting on these things to happen and they are happening in spirit. You got to understand these things so that you get what God has. I want everybody, my brothers and sisters in Christ, to get what God has for you. I really, really do. With all my heart, I want you to get what he has for you. Stop being duped by this false and this foolishness of this world. The coming of the law, lawless one is according to the working of Satan. All of this is Satan. You calling every everything else. It's all him. That's it. He mimics everything that God does, but he does it messy. God does it perfectly. He don't measure up. With all power, signs, and lying wonders. They do that, y'all. You see them slinging their arms and people falling out on the floor. You don't take all that. Jesus just walked by. <laughs> Peter walked by in his shadow hill. Paul, you know, handkerchief, hill. Stop that. Stop this foolishness. You know, you calling people to revival. I went to a faith revival. I talk about that. I went to a faith revival years ago in 2013. I left worse off than I was. Get that. The revival is within your mind, your heart, and your spirit. I am sick of this. I am ready for Jesus to come get us out this mess. Y'all need to understand truth and stop spreading this false and lies. He's going to sit you down and shut your mouth quick, fast, and hurry. That I do know. I am sick of this. With all unrighteousness, exception among those who perish, 
because they did not receive the love of the truth. Get that. That they might be saved. The only way you're going to be saved is that you receive truth. If you don't receive the truth, you're going to be in trouble. And for this, this reason, God will send them a strong delusion. That's why he keeps telling me to say, you reject the truth, you're going to remain in a lie. Some of you are disillusioned and got the nerve to tell somebody else your day. Dis I had somebody tell me that that I um, that I'm disillusioned. Taking up for they uh they profit, basically. You know they got it. And so they are in a delusion. They are. And so that they should believe and they had the nerve to put a scripture on that and, and had it so wrong. It, it it just don't make sense, y'all. It just drives me. It works my everlasting nerve that people quote scriptures and you're so wrong. You're wrong. It's not even relating to what we're talking about. And so Okay, let me calm down. Let me calm down, y'all. Okay. That they should believe the lie. That they all may be condemned who did not believe the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. And then it goes on. Okay. Hey, read the rest for yourself. He wants me to stop. Stand fast. So read the rest for yourself. Let me move on. Okay. Okay, for me, I had a form of unbelief. And I had to keep saying, Jesus, help thou my unbelief. I had to keep saying it, y'all. I'm telling you. Because what he was giving me, it was astonishing me. And I couldn't hardly believe it. So I had to keep asking to help my unbelief. That was a form of unbelief. Unbelief comes in many ways. Even as a Christian, we have ways of unbelief. But you have to ask him to take it away. And so that's why he told me when I realized the prophecy for myself then it's going to manifest and that's what it was doing it started doing some months ago and and it's starting to get down hard and heavy as each day go by i'm just telling you hour by hour day by day it's getting down y'all i'm telling you and so hmm, which made me think of revelations 18 one hour one day it's just getting down like i've never seen it in my lifetime and neither any before us because everyone oh this haven't happened and thousands of years and blah 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 so let me move on when uh okay when i realize the seal words are going forward they manifest y'all they did when i realized when it hit me in my spirit and i was like oh that's what you're saying papa like astonished y'all like sometimes i just don't have a word okay Power up. This is a dream. Power up. We all must power up in Jesus. Witness. Witnesses is what I wrote. Destroy. Help. Pure. Righteous. Because I, he also had me, you know, the, the witnesses, they're symbolic of courageous because they, they weren't scared at all. And they are righteous because they were caught up. You know, you die to self. You become a new creature in Christ. That's the way he gave it to me in my understanding. You know, sometimes we do lean to our own understanding. But if you are righteous, you have the mind of Christ. Get that. People quote that scripture and be dead wrong. We have the mind of Christ. The unrighteous can't understand. Not a darn thing. They It's foolishness to them. And so let me move on. Truth is what he gave after that. Trust God only. Church leave. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. All right. There was one time, you know, in my life that I was looking for what I already had within. Persecuted church. Uh, let's see. He also had me to circle spiritually. Many have been persecuted spiritually. It has manifested in the natural for quite a bit of us, you know, in the natural. So for a long time. Hidden prophets, truth speakers. Uh, let's see. In this end, you have been trained by God. You're pure. Rise up. Excuse me, y'all. Born out of due time is what he had me write on the 26th. Had me to write again. Vision of, excuse me, y'all, calamity. All right. First Samuel 
Okay. He also wants me to say, be careful again, be careful with popular prophets. We are all hearing in this time. Some hearts are hard. Luke 6, 26. He gave it again. First Samuel 16, 7. Do not look at his outer, outer appearance because, you know, Samuel was asking about David. Like, you show, you show about that. And so do not look at his outer appearance or at his height or, um, or at height of his stature. God sees not as man sees for man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Okay. I'm going to say it again. You must receive truth. Some are deceived by lies. You are rejecting truth. You want me to say that again? Acts 17, 24. God does not dwell in temples made by hands. Please read that for yourself. Please read the whole chapter for yourself. Acts 7, 48 through 50. Through 50. Please read that whole chapter for yourself. Mark 16, 15 and 16. Preach the gospel to the world. He who believes. Okay, please read that for yourself. All right. Many are, these are some thoughts he gave. Many are not believing truth, listening to the doctrine of man, religion, tradition. Okay. When you mix it with truth, makes it false. All right. He already had me say this about being at the feet of Jesus in 2020. Those that reject truth remain in the All right. He also had me to write, I went to heaven and heaven came to me. Jesus' visitations, cleansing, and anointing. Because he did it in various ways. Destroyer, truth movement, light in darkness. Revealed. That's how things are being revealed. Working for God. Victory over the strong man. No peace for the wicked. On 11-18-2020, he had me right. For the day of vengeance is mine. And the year of my redeemed has come. He kept having me write 70 weeks over and over again. One year. This comes out of Daniel. One year. Four months. Three weeks. Divine plan. Chaos. Payment. Double. We must overcome and obtain perfection in spirit. You will be complete on that day in spirit to receive your eternal body. You won't get your eternal body, but you won't be able to enjoy it. You either eternal life or eternal damnation. Okay, so let's see. He had me to write Revelations 11, chapter 11 and 20. He also had me to write Judgment, Revelations chapter 15, last seven plagues. Uh, yes, oh God. On eight three twenty twenty, judgment on the world. God's word is going forth, whether you receive it or not. You're going to be in trouble if you are still receiving lies and false. You must receive the truth. I want y'all to get what God has for you. I do not want, I don't want you to get it. Get the truth, y'all, so your life can change forever, so that you can walk in this thing and tell people about Jesus, truly tell them about Jesus Christ. We must have the mind of Christ to overcome. This is a short message in part that he had me write down also on 8-24-2020. This world as you know it is over. Short space. Time has run out. Okay, that's it. And the Father knows if you are predestined for heaven or hell. Okay, he had me to write again. Daniel still words. Fullness of, complete, of completion and time. Matthew 24, 29-30. Immediately after tribulation. And Mark chapter 13 as well. Luke 21, chapter 21 speaks on the end as well. All right. Enoch 18, 6. Bound until the secret year 
That's what all he had me to write off, off of that. Enoch 19.3. And I, Enoch, this made me cry. I alone saw the likeness of the end of all things, nor did any human being see it. I know what that feels like as I saw. And I know what it feels like. It, it just, when you know you're telling the truth and people can't understand what you're saying. That is the, it was the worst, y'all. It was the worst. But the Papa is just, just amazing. Amazing. Okay. Righteous. The, this book, Book of Enoch is for the righteous. Book of Jubilees. Okay. He now reigns in our hearts. Dominion speaking the word of God. Rise up. Revival of the last days. Heart, mind, spirit. That's what he had me to write. Because I had to, this was a real, real popular um, Christian news thingy or a news site, I should say. And they had a picture of people, I, I want to say thousands of people, maybe, laid out on the floor saying that it was revival. And so Uncle Papa told me to tell them the, last, the revival of the last days is heart, mind, and spirit. God is divinely delivering in this time because he's going to get the glory. Get that. He's going to get the glory. We are depending on man to do something that only God. It's not them, y'all. It is God that's doing it. And some of you are leaving worse off because you're believing in that man. And you're not believing that it was the power of God that did it. And so I hope some of y'all explain that because it's just kind of weird to see people putting revival on display like that. To me, it's weird. I feel like you're trying to be righteous in front of man and show off. That's what I feel like. Because when you truly walk in the spirit, you do a lot of things in secret. Like I've done things in secret for so long, all of my life. And I tell bits and pieces of what the Papa want me to tell, but that's just not something that you put on for show. That That's like some Pharisees, Sadducees, scribes and crudeness to me. I'm just saying. And so let me move on. And then I hope you follow up with these people. Get that. All right. Correct. So I asked them again. I just want to, y'all just got to get away from this, this, this silliness. I am ready for Jesus to come. His truth is going to go forward. All right. So this was another dream he gave me. He often give me dreams where he showed me how he deals with different nefarious dogs. But in this particular dream, this man was trying to attack me and he caught fire. I didn't have to do nothing. He just caught fire. All right. My wrath is poured out upon the earth. That's what he say. That's what the Papa say. Salvation is a process. Repent, confess sins, receive Jesus, Holy Spirit, true. Holy Spirit, cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Help us to restrain from, from sin. You turn away, and you don't do it no more. Um, to the Holy Spirit. Um, you become a new creation in, in spirit in Christ Jesus. The things you used to do, you don't do no more. And I probably never said that. Holy Spirit, it's a helper that teaches us all things, intercedes for us, helps us to pray according to God's will. Spirit of truth helps us to discern the truth, to discern good and evil, to try the spirit of truth by the spirit of error. Get that. Doubting nothing. Nothing is impossible for God. He had me write that on the outside. That's what I've always believed to be so. Whatever purpose God called you for, he will equip you and make you ready. Not man. Following man, you only go as far as they do. Chasing their dreams. Follow Jesus, you soar in spirit. And measurable. According to the measure of your faith. Harvest into the world. Ready at all times. That's both sides. You got to be ready to move how the Papa said move. If he shift that thing on you right quick, you got to be ready to shift it too. And so, check accuracy with God first. Especially, especially when you claim to be a prophet of the Lord. And then you check the validity. True or false? That's what I always say. True or false? Papa, and he gonna run it for me. Revelations 1. Revelations. Let me see. I wrote that wrong. Oh, 144,000 righteous. All right, I'm here. Fear. And unbelief. That's your enemy. Get away from him. If you are calling yourself a believer and you're fearful and unbelieving, you're going to be in trouble. 
Get away from it. All right? This is another lie. The Papa said this is false. Stop believing. Somebody did this last year too. And I was highly upset. Stop believing the lie that our prayers will stop judgments. The judgments had already went forth. They were already set. Um, let's see. Sealed words in the end. I'm in a place of prophetic. That's what he gave me again. When the king set their seal, there is no reversal. It's done. This, this is what he wanted me to say with those that's praying to reverse judgments. That, that makes no sense to me. Once the, them seals was open, that's it. You're not going to close the books back because you say so. That don't make sense. We got to get away from these things that man come up with this, this foolishness. Please understand truth, y'all. Truth. Okay, he told me correct before I can even ask. It has been up to us because we haven't been receiving truth. The false has gone all around the world. Now, he's sending this truth forth like a, a fire. It's, it's going to catch fire so quickly. In a blink of an eye, it's going to catch fire. And so, people are going to wake up from the truth. They're not going to wake up from false. That's why they're sending this false out all over the world. That's keeping you asleep and drowsy. And you're doing everything else but stand at the feet of Jesus. Get that. From me, these past seven years, eight years, I've been so desperate for Jesus to come. I speak about this in previous videos. For years, Christians will tell me that they're not ready or they have more work to do or we got to live how we can live right now. I've heard all, I've heard it all, y'all, or a million and one things. But if you're really ready and you're righteous, you're going to be ready at all times. And what they say don't matter. The Papa say you coming, you coming. That's it. Okay. He gave it to me again. Tithes. Tithing. Hebrews 7 and chapter 10. And Galatians chapter 5. But you, you need to go read that. Because you are keeping yourself in bondage of man. Doctrine of man. You got to get away from all that mess. And walk in the spirit. He also gave with that a cheerful giver. Who give how the Holy Spirit leads you in your heart. 2 Corinthians 9 and 6. We give how we are purpose in our in our hearts. Not nobody telling you what to give. I had one person say, and I never watched them again after this. A television said, um, if you don't give this seed right now, or if you don't give this tithe, you're going to be cursed. And you went back to the Old Testament. Man, that thing didn't sit well in my spirit. I was so troubled. Like, I had to pray. I had to stop and pray. I was so troubled. And that messes you up, y'all. If you are not walking in truth and you can't call out that truth, that uh, call out that false and know the truth for yourself, you're going to be in trouble. Okay. I believe, let me see. John chapter 8. Please read the whole chapter for yourself. Jesus defend self-witness. Testimony of two witness is true. Jesus is my witness. The Holy Spirit is my witness. God is my witness. Get that. You walk in the spirit, that is. All right. Gifts of God. Stood up to problem people. He's always told me that overcome. Unity, family of God. Okay. I'm almost there, y'all. This is a vision of words. And the words were escape and graduation. Those were the two words. Okay. Mark chapter 4. Come to faith and believe until the end. Faith, obedience, righteous church end. Please read Mike, uh, Mark chapter 4 on your own. In this dream on 2 7, 2 21. In this dream, someone said seven years. That's another way for him to confirm for me. He would tell me to come um, to avoid conflict. On the days he would tell me to um, avoid conflict, how about somebody coming for me? In a, in a comment or something. So either he would make it where I didn't see the comment or he would just give me a scripture or just to tell me to say nothing. So I'm like, okay, Papa. <laughs> and then I just wait. And then I, either I won't say anything at all or he'll give me something to say another day. Okay. So avoid conflict, people of God, at all costs because people are jigging at you. That's another thing. Excuse me. Thank you, Jesus. 
People are jigging at you to evoke a reaction, to evoke you to, whether it be rage and anger, to act out a character. So be careful, careful, cautious in this time. Okay. For me, I try hard to do my own business. I don't be in everybody else's business. I've never been. Like, I just mind my own business. I've always been private, but the papa has made me speak more now than I ever have in probably my entire life. If somebody tell me a secret, I'm a vote. I'm not going to repeat it. If It's certain things that I repeat from the past, but you'll never know who it is. It's, I, I'll, I wouldn't call out their name, even though I don't talk to them no more. Or even if they did me dirty, I don't tell their little secret or whatever. But if the papa tell me to call something out, then I will. Okay, and so dreams, I'm sorry about the loud noise. Uh, let's see, my dreams, and it's amazing because the papa had me start a different time today just to show that anytime I'm on, that's the time you choose to do certain things, which is fine because this word's still going to go forward and there's nothing you can do about it. So let me get back into it. Truth spoken evil of warfare. Fight, I was fighting in this dream. This is a, a dream of prophecy. The person that was trying to hit me, they kept missing. <laughs> I had this happen in real life too. The person that was trying to uh, hit me kept missing. I was protecting a baby in the dream. Emergency help came, which was a lion, y'all. And you already know the lion of Judah. There is none greater. And so even the police came. Somebody called the police and they couldn't help me. But when that lion came, it, that, that was it, y'all. That was it. Okay, um, and everybody scattered. All the little wicked people, they scattered. They were just regular people, y'all. All right. Repentance was in this dream. Repentance was in this dream uh, from some of the people. Uh, let's see. In the dream, I said to the person, let's get them, is what I said. And no harm was done. Let God arise. And his enemies be scattered. All right. All right. Also, in this dream, it was lost souls, salt. We know about the salt. We don't want to lose our flavor. And fire, cleanse. We must be cleansed, y'all. Okay. I can feel my armor coming on. They stop. Tell me I say that. I can feel my armor coming on. That's that's amazing to me. Okay. Well, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is with us. He gonna, I guess they were waiting to see if I'm still talking. Yes, I am. Because I can feel the Holy Ghost on me strong. I feel my armor coming on. Okay. So, Daniel Seals, words, prophecy. The uh, This is a dream. <laughs> In the dream, the, the name of this person, their name means a renowned fighter. He often gives me fighting or uh, war, war lights, things like that. Emergency help in this dream. Reject, I rejected wickedness in this dream. Uh, also, there was a, um, I was the bride and then there was a widow. And so, of course, the bride, life, Christ, widow, death, Satan. All right. In this end, evil apostate church. Warlike, fighter. He had me write it again. Higher. More powerful, uh, teaches our hands, teaches our hands to war. Strength, power, protection, covering nations. Walk by faith, not by sight. Not by what we see, y'all, in the spirit. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. So he gave me that scripture and someone else gave that same scripture that I did. I don't know them, but they gave the same scripture. I love seeing that too. It tells you, it lets you know who's lined up together when he gives certain us all the same scripture i can do all things through christ jesus that strengthens me this is my favorite this when i was in my 20s this i carried this everywhere that and uh ephesians 6 redeem the time power of god keeps from uh let's see from folding and swaying and turning away this is a dream each individual fighting to prove in this dream why they should live and, and the person symbolical church. In this dream on 4-10-2021, 20, 
the New Orleans was said in that dream. I said that in previous videos, way before things broke out. Smite. Okay, in this in this next dream. Um, also, he had me to underline several earthquakes. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Oh, okay. All right. Matthew chapter 24, 11th hour, last moment, change plans at the 11th hour. You also have me to write judgment on America, Babylon falling. Um, four, there you go. Four corners have been released. You have me to write destroy an angel. This was on 926. You have me to write this. All right. For those without the seal of God. Uh, let's see. Spiritual manifest to the natural. True prophets versus the false prophets. That's the time we're in. The true prophets are versus, are against the false prophets in this time. That's why you saved us for the end. And that's why, you know, it's really, really bad, y'all. That's why he's been having me go all over the to the gutters through and through to the end on this internet. And baby. It's so much false. It just don't make no sense. Like I'd be like, oh, you know you lying. Okay. Okay. What does that say? This is some straight script scrap right here for real. All right. Oh, this was a, a, a video. And the man was a true prophet with his wife. They were young. Then it was an older couple. They were supposed to be prophets. But they ain't the truth. It was a false prophet. Because when that, that truth prophet said, I died for 20 minutes and I came back and Jesus told me to be coming soon. You should have seen the woman. Her eyes got big and she like, just, just that. Like, oh Lord, I done messed up this time. And so that's when he had me write that true prophets versus false because he's blocking. He's blocking what they can see. And it's, it's irritating them. That's what he did for the wicked woman. He blocked it. And then he, when he revealed it at the last minute, that's when he had stripped me away. And she was like so angry. And so he blocked what they could see of this couple. And then they didn't know that they were prophetic. And so he's doing it in this time to reveal the false. He's given us truth to reveal the false. Okay. Protection, rest, peace. Uh, clean. From filth. In this dream. In this dream. Clean from filth. The lady in the dream was unclean. Alright. Always test validity. He gave it again. By the spirit of truth. Alright. I read all of this. I said all of this already. Everything is not a God's purpose. I said this a while ago. What's your motive behind it? God is revealing corruption. We all must go through Jesus Christ. Every last one of us. All right. He had me to write it again. One year, four months, three weeks. 70 weeks. Before, uh, before the great tribulation, prepare, the com prepare for the coming king. Unity. Seven bow vows, bowls, wrath of God. Dedicated to a particular task, high places of God, glory of God, trans. Figuration. Let's see. God will tread down my enemies. My enemies are his enemies and his enemies are my enemies. Confidence to challenge the world against you. Courage and strength. All right. He also had me to write. Unity. Acts chapter 2. Oneness. Harmony. One accord. If we're not one with the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. How can we how can we be one with our brothers and sisters? Question. When you get offended by the truth, there is not a lasting change. When you reject the truth, you remain in a lie. Some want to argue a point like the Pharisees, Sadducees, scribes, and crew, instead of listening to the spirit of the living God. Truth. All must teach truth, not false. All right, this is a dream. People, let me see. The people are symbolic of church not listening to the spirit spirit of God. This keeps you in bondage. Some never learned. 
true fellowship from the beginning. It's, it's at the feet of Jesus. It starts with the Holy Spirit. That's how you learn how to fellowship. That's why people don't know how to fellowship. That's why they don't walk in the Spirit. That's why when you go to the church, they're building, they're nasty. Because they're not filled up with the Spirit. Even the servants were filled up. Stephen and the rest, they were filled up with the Holy Spirit. Servant. Okay, this being Spirit-led. Let's see. Many practice routine. Instead of letting him lead. And so he told me evil has ended. I'm so sorry about this loud noise. But I have to finish this out. I don't have much more to go. But they must have pulled out the the the, the whammy for this one. Because it's vibrating everything. And so I'm not going to stop talking. I hope you can hear me clearly. And so. Let's see. Something, some people practice things out of routine. This is something that the Papa got me away from in 2013. Like I would pray at a certain time, read my Bible at a certain time, and do this at a certain time. You know, that's that, that's not how God works. He is spontaneous and I can break out in a prayer or praise or uh, read my word at any time he prompts me to. You got to be spirit led in all, all things in this time. Okay. Let's see. You must be born again of water and spirit. He already had to say this. Let's see. Let me make sure. Moral corruption. You either unrighteous or righteous. Let's see. Judgment day. Announce and rewarded. Judgment. Short time. Okay. Unity and peace. Again. Glorify. Highest place. Ordained. Appointed by God. Dedicated to a particular task. We can't come to God without the Holy Spirit. Total, total destruction. So he had me to write glorify in highest place over and over again. Fighting for the people of God. Help save from danger and distress. Make yourselves ready. I come quickly. All right. The greatest among you shall be your servant. That's Matthew 23, 11. Somebody just said this in a video. Um, he unknowingly have us know certain things and people like to tear down character. I noticed that a lot. Like they like to tear down your character when they don't even know you. That's bearing false witness. You don't live in somebody's house, you don't know them. So you need to stop bearing false witness. It, it's it's amazing to me how you fix your mouth to talk about the people of God. God's gonna deal with you. He's gonna he's he gonna tear your mind up. That's all I know. And so truth of God against beast, false prophet, powerful in Christ, fight weakness, unity. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. He said it again. Time of prophecy. Beast time was cut short. There you go. That's what the Papa said. Escape. I'm going home. A cult attack destroyed. Rescue help the church. Mm -mm. Right. Rescue help church. Either you believe the truth or a lie. Truth of God or a lie of the enemy. Separate from evil. Mark chapter 13, he gave again. You must be sure in Jesus. There is no only way. Listen to God only. All right. Let's see. In the spirit, I was thinking, um, this was 927, that in this particular dream, I'm not going to share it yet. The father, let me see. This is the only part he wants me to share. That a plainclothes officer came in the back door. And so I said to them, Jesus is my help, is what I said to him. Because I'm like, why, why are you here? And so in the spirit, and always back door for me has been behind. And so in the spirit, I was thinking, they always harass and law-abiding citizens and can't catch a criminal. How about that? That's what you need to be worried about. Stop messing with God's people and law-abiding citizens and go catch a criminal. Get that. And so the next season comes immediately after spoken words, double anointing, prophecy, short period, periods of time. We in that time, short, and I'm so glad I don't have to deal with this no more. Kept getting 12 months over and over again. End of the world. The children time has come. Speaking truth, being bullied by wickedness. But some of y'all won't stand to them. You let them run all over you and thank you, you loving it away instead of telling you, get thee behind me, Satan. The Lord rebuke you in the mighty name of Jesus. And so, unfamiliar route. That is what he's taking me in, unfamiliar route. 
You have to move how God moves. I already said all of this. Okay. He had me to write down some things on 414. Let me see. No. 411, 2020, tornado. 412, uh, large fireball. 412, hell. Uh, let's see. 412. And then a couple of weeks prior to that was flooding. So it must have been the beginning of April flooding in the area that was stated. You know, that's it was going to break out and it did. Those places were mentioned in previous videos. Okay, let's see. So on my ride on 414, here go to 414 again, y'all. On my ride, and that was this year on 414. And so I call it the journey. It's usually I take a journey. And so I saw a man standing at his gate, y'all. He was standing under an American flag, under a rebel flag. This dude, it's, it's like in the morning, got a beer in his hand and have on a white mask, y'all. The white mask um, from the movie Vendetta. That's the mask he had on. And so I'm like, Papa, what in the world? I was like, <laughs> I was like, I did get a little tickled, but I, I was like, I got to figure out what this white mask mean. I'm like, what, what does that mean? And so, I, of course, I did my little research. You know, I like to investigate things. Um, it is a sign. Let's see. It is a symbol of defiance against government. He also had the other little sign that says F the current leader. He did have that one. He had a whole bunch of signs y'all standing in front of a trailer and and matter of fact well that time he had on a shirt i believe he he may have or he may not have but it's just it was a trip to see it with my own eyes this wasn't a dream this was real life on my journey on my ride and so destructive dark doctrines turning away from wrong teaching all right quick devastation mercy oh mm-mm -mm. Punishment without mercy on the wicked. Unrepentant. All right. Help, bride of Christ, pure, righteous church. Fighting until the last one destroyed. Now out of hiding. I have the joy of the Lord. And the season made it to the end. End of time. Today is the day evil is rewarded. Double. That was on 927 when I wrote that. Apostle Paul often wrote letters of correction. Feed my sheep true. All right, warn against unbelief, chosen and elect faithful soldiers of the cross. Jesus Christ, that is. All will go quickly in this end. Remember the papal shorten for his elect's sake. Or there will be no faith found upon the earth. That's just what it is. Because I'll be like um, asking myself, how, um, how long, papal? Oh, how long? Okay. That's how severe it has been for some of us. And others can't understand why we are so desperate for Jesus to come and why we are so desperate for the truth to go forth. Okay. I gave all of these scriptures. Um, if I didn't give heavenly scholar, then it's John chapter seven. Please read that for yourself. I think um, someone just shared that too. This was on 927 when I got that scripture. And then I saw it. I want to say I saw it yesterday, possibly. Um, someone had posted it on another video and I thought that was so cool okay all right and then he reigns in our hearts he hasn't said it, write it again he reigns in our heart you need to get that the kingdom of god is in our heart we're going to see it manifest in the natural but you got to get it that he's all everything you need is within you get that victory persecuted church reveal group of people false that's that's what we're revealing when you speak forth that truth the false gotta shut it this is what it is nothing here that shall not be revealed all right a lot of breaking on the 27th as well rebuke church you know you church some of you church building people ain't right that's what i'm talking about all right and he had me right group it's a certain group of you you know you're not right and and wickedness has infiltrated the church buildings and y'all let them sit up there with you you love on them and everything and hate your brother and sister what's wrong with that all right and you sit and doing nothing as my papa on earth say, you're sitting on your hands, doing nothing. All right? Because your lives are lovely. lovely. Some of you, your lives are lovely. 
and you have no resistance. So you can't understand what we're talking about. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm a little tickled. <laughs> the neighbors decided to run all run their lawnmower at the same time, y'all. That's why it's so strong. It, it's just amazing to me how nefarious dogs don't give up. But he has made me soldier just for them. Just for them. They gonna leave before I do. Get that. Okay. And if he wants me to leave, gladly, I will. I've been hanging in this thing for a minute. And I know it's been nobody but Jesus. And I'm going to give him all the props and all the glory, the honor, and all that goes with that majesty. And all the bull, because it's him. I know it's him. And I sleep lovely every night. Sure do. When I have a, 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 a night of resistance, I pray in the spirit and still go to sleep. Because I know that he comes me and he is with me. Let me move on. So one of them going to shut their law, llama off. The other one's still going. All right. Let me move on. Judgment on those who lie. Perilous times, perilous mean. Repentance. Salvation, deliverance from sin and its consequences by faith in Christ Jesus. That's another thing. You need to look at it this way. Don't just think salvation. Oh, I'm saved. Once saved, always saved. And then you go back to sin. You don't have nothing restraining you from going back to your old ways. You go back to doing that old things that you used to do. That's not once saved, but always saved, y'all. You got to continue to transform to Jesus Christ continuously. And then you'll be completed on that day. Okay. All right, for me, I have spoken to many that believe in Jesus' name, but they still don't believe. I can tell by conversating with them. And sometimes I'll sit right there, Papa. They don't believe, do they? And he'll tell me, no. And so, yeah, I'll be talking to people and talking to Bubba at the same time. Like, he just I, he just put multitasking in me, like, to do. It's a, it's totally a gift from him. I, I can't do it. I can be praying and still hear what other people say. It's just, it's amazing to me. I was astonished myself. And so, let me move on. And he already gave me this. Why call me Lord and do not what I say? You want to say Lord Jesus and all of this, but you're not doing nothing he's telling you to do. You're you're rejecting it because it, it isn't. It's not what's something you want to do. And that's why you're rejecting it because it's not something you want to do. I have been there before too, y'all. I'm like, how are you telling me to do this? And so I wait and then I know he's telling me to do it and I do it and then total peace. So he teaches us to stay in line with him. Poured out God's spirit, awaken. Only receiving the truth, y'all. That's it. Completely changed, no longer the same. I was thinking of the song, um, He Changed Me. Um, I love that song, Changed Me. All right. Isaiah 26 and 3, in part, perfect peace whose mind has stayed on you because he trusts in you. I love that. That scripture, too. Uh, let's see. Um, downloading more, higher in the spirit, shift in the spirit. Uh, he had to help me to let go of grief. Like, you know, I still have my days, but it was just that feeling of I, I can't live on this earth without my, my soldier. And so he helped me. He mend my heart because I still miss her, but I don't just sit and just cry like I did and things like and such like that I try to think on good memories and keep reminding myself that I'm gonna see her again that we'll all be together for eternity and so that helps me gives me some peace some will refuse to give up this world's riches that's what he wants me to say Matthew 19 16 through 30 and Luke 18 22 it's a lot about different riches but when you refuse to give up riches of this world you're turning your back on Jesus you're not going to be saved by doing good deeds. Get that. We all need to power up in Jesus. Only way to overcome. There is no other way. All right. This is like the first time this has ever happened to me, y'all. On 927, I had a uh, vision for the third time. I never had three visions exactly the same. But this one, the first time, darkness and shaking again on 927, y'all. This is the third time. All right. All right, and then 
gathering overflowed, impressive one, unity, peace. Time of unity, again, that's what he said. Um, he already had me say all of that. Judgment on the false. That's what he had me write on 927. Truth spoken evil of. He had me write that too. Two Peter, 2 Peter uh, 2 through 9. Did I say that right? Mm -mm. 2 Peter chapter 2 verse 9 is what I was trying to say. All right. Because people, because the people of this world, they are calling true false and false true. Y'all got to know the truth for yourself. All right. And last page, I have a little bit more and then I'm going to do my last video. And so he had me write it again. Um, vision, darkness, shaking, natural change. Uh, this was on 9-11 is when he had me to write this. Uh, let's see. Spiritual change. He also gave me two visions. I had a vision of a man that I just told y'all about. Um, and the direction he was going was natural change. I had a vision of a woman a while ago. You know, spiritual change. And so that kind of confirms that the women women in this time were spiritually strong and the, it's changing a man in the natural. Get that. And so many women battle in the spirit. I just said that. God had ma has made us strong. As, I just said that. Okay. Okay. Hear me right again. Visitation. Heard the trumpet and then heard in the spirit last trumpet. Lord Jesus, help us right now. Help us right now, Jesus. Help us right now. Okay. And so that's it on the notes. He wanted me to speak on um lukewarm church. Those this 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 um they call them the the prosperity pastors popped up on a YouTube video. And this news reporter was asking questions. He wants me to say the name. It was Ken, Kenneth Copeland. He popped up and the reporter, he was very, um, he just looked possessed to me. That's that's all what I saw in spirit. I didn't listen to the words. I read the words. But the crazed look in his eyes and he was getting smart with the lady and everything. But she was asking valid questions and he was defending himself versus if we defend Jesus like that, we'll be in a better place in this world. And so he had me to write filthy lucre safe. And not, this is not just for him. This is for all of you prosperity pastors or whatever you call yourself or whoever you are. And so what he, what she asked him was, she said, televangelists enjoy the life of luxury. Why doesn't he fly, fly commercial? Question. He has his own airport next to his mansion in Texas where he keeps his, his private jets. Not one, but he, he must have several. She asked him the question and he said he doesn't want to fly commercial because he doesn't want to be want to get in a tube with a bunch of demons. All right. She said, do you believe people are demons? He said, pointing a finger at her. He said, no, I do not. I, I didn't say that and you better not say I said it. And I'm like, Y'all ain't nothing but some pimps and hustlers. That's all I know. And so, pimping the people of God, and God is not pleased for filthy lucre's sake. Money, especially when gained in, in a dishonest way. This is dishonest. It's dishonest. You're telling people to tithe and do this and so I see. God didn't tell you to do that at all. You lying. And so, it says um, when you're dishonest or in a dishonorable way. If I didn't read it, Jesus, Jesus drove out the money changers. Apostle Paul called them peddlers. You know, you you selling expensive and all the stuff. Y'all, I don't been duped. So I know, especially in 2012, my husband had to get on to me. So I know I have been duped. And that's why it, what led me to sit there crying like a, a baby and told the papa, I'm sick of this false, that please deal with them. That was my prayer. And so it took a long time. But now you deal. Okay. And so greed. Intense and selfish desire. He gave me some words for something, especially wealth and power. All right. 
You focus on prosperity. That contradicts the word of God. It contradicts the word of God. Stop explaining this stuff away. He said, focus on the kingdom of heaven and all his righteousness and the rest will be added unto you. He is our daily bread day by day. And so it's not saying people should be broke down and poor. But when you are not doing God's business, you're doing your business, but not God's business. Some of you don't need to be speaking over God's people at all because you are false. Okay. Prosperity, the condition of being successful, that's your focus. Or thriving, especially economically, that's your focus. That's not of God. You're not focused on the kingdom of heaven. Get that. It contradicts the word of God once again. Storing your riches on earth so that it can rot and be moth eaten. You know, that's scripture. And so, some of you are focused on getting the green and building wealth, becoming rich and wealthy, and you have no need for nothing. And you do not know you are, this is scripture. This is um, in Revelation. You do not know you are wretched and miserable, poor, blind, and naked. Shame of your nakedness will be revealed. Repent. That's why y'all don't read Revelations. That's why you don't read a whole lot of the New Testament. You read verses and people lapping it up. That's why I always say read the whole chapter for yourself so you have clear understanding. Because some of these terms that they're using has nothing to do with the word of God. I already told y'all I will do. So that's why I'm angry about this kind of stuff. That's that's why. Um, so because because the people of God need to get away from this mess and receive the truth of who God is. I'm not saying don't support your church or whatever, but you give according to how God tells you to give. Me myself, I'm not making the wealthy more well, um, build more well. I'm not. I'm not gonna give you my change so you can build more wealth. Period. Exclamation mark. Because y'all. When I was through, you know, when, when I know how to be a base and a bound. I know how to suffer need. And I know when I, when, when it's flowing, you good. And so I try to help. And so y'all, I had to sow seed and all this into these different places. And when I started to suffer need, I was going to write them all letters and tell them, give me my money back. I want my money back. But the Papa told me, he said, I can say this today. However, I kept the receipts and I was going to show every receipt and everything because it's just ridiculous how y'all are making these people wealthy and you're not, you're not building up truth. You're not, you're not building up truth. You're not um, building up the kingdom of God. That's what I'm saying. We should be building the kingdom of God, not building up, building up for people to live in mansions and drive a half a million dollar cars. When you got people at the border starving, you got people, you're not necessarily starving, but I'm, they living in tents. They got to be hungry or something. You, you got the means to do it and you don't do it. You you got people all over the, in this country that are barely getting by. People have lost their jobs. They have lost so much. They have lost their homes and you don't care. So that, yeah, I'm angry about that. I don't like that at all. And so it's like people that have the means to help, they don't. People that are just kind of set on a budget or whatever, they don't really have the means, they still do their best for others. That's crazy to me, y'all. It's crazy to me. And so, rich oppressors, James chapter five, I believe I already gave this, read that on your own time. Okay. Some of them want to give things that are itching to the ear. And that's what they do to seduce you in, to keep getting your money, to get the wealthy to pay tithes. And give them money and they headed to hell because they don't they're, they're not born again of water in the spirit. That's the problem. That's the problem. You got so many people headed to hell because they're not born again of water and spirit. Because you are followed behind the popular when the popular is not telling you to repent. They're not telling you they're compromising and lukewarm. Get that. That's in Revelation. Read Revelation chapter one through chapter three. Read it for yourself. All right. They're erring. Erring is Having failed to adhere to the proper or accepted standards, having done wrong. Some are deliberately doing that because it's obvious at this point. If you say you hear from God and you say you know God and you say this and this and that and the other, he can't be telling you to do some of the things you're doing. I'm sorry. And so people of God, be not deceived. Come out from among them. Get your salvation the real, true way. 
that you are your raiment is clean, y'all. That you know 100% without a doubt. To my sweet loves, get your salvation today. Repent, turn away. Any second, any minute, any hour, any day, Jesus is coming. And to the nefarious dogs that still say the same, go to hellfire. Until the next video, y'all.